Good morning, afternoon, really. Um, fifth grade. I think this was one of the most um, enjoyable lessons that, that I've done in a while. Um, so the objectives of this lesson was well, students will be able to use a computer simulation to co collect data about a model. And the second one is going to make, a, make and test a prediction by modifying simulation variables. Um, next week, we're going to follow up on this a little bit. But for now, that's our objective. Our vocabulary for this week is model, models and simulation. It's a program which replicates or mimics key features of a real world event in order to investigate its behavior without the cost, time, or danger of running an experiment in real life. So they're, they're trying to save money, they're trying to um, save time, and they're trying to save, make sure it's safe for people. So we are going to go to go to lesson 11, simulation experiment. First thing we need to do is go to classwork and we are going to download the file simulation. Open it up. Um, and of course you're going to put your name. You would not believe how many people didn't put their name on their paper this morning. Um, they, they lost 25 points. So I put my name, Bruce Banner, and then I put today's date, which is February 8th. Now I want you to look at this first. It, we have a couple tables. So here, here's our first table, and we have run one, two, three, four, five, and elephant, hippo, and time. So I'm gonna go to code, and now if you look over here, I was hoping to make this bigger for you. Let me see if I can still do that. I may try to make that a little bit bigger for you. So over here it says run this simulation five times. Each time use the collecting data activity guide to record. So I'm going to hit run. And we, you see my elephant and my hippo. So I'm going to hit run. And it starts collecting the data as it's doing it. You can do this on your own. It's kind of fun. Okay, so it, if you look up here, um, it has a little uh, plus. And so you click on that and it has 18 seconds. Uh, elephant collected eight, hippo 12. I'm writing them down because I tend to do these things and then I forget before. Then I'm gonna go back to my document. I just mean it. So run number one. Time was 18. I'm not going to put seconds because I know that it's second. Hippo had 12. And the elephant had 8. There's 20 apples. So I'm going to go back to code. I'm going to reset. I'm going to run it again. The animals are collecting data. Collecting apples. Then we're going to get the data. Okay, so I'm finished. We're, we're done with this, and I'm going to click on plus. So it, it was 11 seconds. Elephant collected 13, and the hippo collected 7. So I'm going to go record that data. 17, I'm sorry, 11. 11, elephant had 13. I'm doing it backwards, I'm sorry. Hippo had 12. Again, I'm making more mistakes. Um, okay, so elephant had 13. So let me go to elephant and the hippo had seven. All right, go back. I'm gonna run another set, another experiment. Okay, so this one took 18 seconds. 
Elephant, let me I click on that plus mark and you can see more. Elephant had six and the hippo had 14 because it's always going to add up to 20. Go back to my document. Elephant had six. Hippo had 14 and the time was 18. Go back to the code. Reset. We're going to hit run again. Okay. So we're done. It says 15 seconds. Hippo has 16. So it's 16 seconds. See, I already, I already forgot. It was 15 seconds and 16. So it's 15 seconds. Hippo had 16. So that means the elephant had four. Okay, and then we're going to run it one more time. Hit reset and then run. So what one is moving faster, you think? struggling on this one. Here comes the elephant. He's going to try to get those apples. The, the hippo. Hippo got him. Okay, so the hippo got 13. Um, let me go back. The time was 28 seconds. And the elephant had 7. 28 for time. Elephant had 7. That means the hippo has 13. So if we look at this, it looks like the time goes from anywhere from 11 to 28 seconds. We have um, the range for the hippo is seven to 16, and the range for the elephant was four to 13. So that's all well and good. So we're gonna go down here, and I'm gonna I have to delete out this too so you don't see it. Okay, so we're gonna go back to code and we're going to go to part two. So what's it, what it's asking us to do, and I'm gonna start version history, I'm gonna start this over for you. So what it's asking us to do is pick one of the variables that control this simulate, to, simulation to modify. So that we have the elephant and the hippo, the elephant moves at speed two, the hippo moves at speed five. So let's do this. Let's change the hippo speed to eight. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my document and it says variable to modify. So we're going to uh, change hippo speed from five to eight. And then we're supposed to predict an outcome. What is going to happen because of that modification to the variable you guys will i'll let you do that um that that'll be part of your assessment if you can complete that um what do you think is going to happen and then we're going to go run it um so i'm going to go back to code we're going to run it five times Okay, so it ended after 17 seconds. The hippo got 18. I'm gonna go record that data. 17, hippo got 18, and elephant got two. The elephant must be hungry. All right, we're gonna reset, run again. Okay. So it ended at the five seconds and the hippo got 15. Five seconds, 15, and the elephant got five. All right, 
go back, reset, hit run. Okay, so 10 seconds. 10 seconds and the hippo got 16. 10 seconds, 16, four for the elephant. Go back and run it again. Okay, so that time it was 27 seconds, and they both gained the same, gathered the same amount of the uh, apples. 10 and 10. And the final simulation. Okay, 7 seconds, Hippo got 17. Seven, seventeen, and three. So I guess that we were were to predict the outcome, we we should have uh, um, suggested that the hippo was going to go faster, and therefore collect more apples. Okay. So make sure your names on it. Uh, make sure your data are, are it's all filled in. And we did another piece in class, but I'm not going to ask you to do that. Um, just make sure you submit it, turn it in as quickly as you can, and I will see you next week.